Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today's going to be a bit of a bike vlog video, a bike shop vlog video. And uh, first of all, I wanted to let you know something that I forgot to follow up on, and that was my 30 day fixed gear biking commuting challenge. I wanted to let you know how that went and so forth. I ended up not doing just 30 days, but 90 days, basically three months of uh, riding that fixed gear bike to work and back. How did, I, how did it go? How did riding a fixed gear bike for 30 days go? Actually, 90 days go. It went really good, actually, and it was much better than I expected. If you remember my other video, I'll, I'll add a link somewhere. Um, I had said something like, I don't think it makes sense. It's not going to, you know, it's not good to not be able to coast. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure if I was right or not. It, it is true that it is nice to coast, and it is nice to have, you know, regular brakes that work good and whatnot. Uh, handbrakes that is, um, but it was really fun actually, and I didn't feel like I was in too much of a in danger riding that way. I, I will say I had to sometimes go a bit slower, and it definitely takes some getting used to, but it was actually pretty fun. And uh, I would probably keep doing it, but now it's getting cold and wet and dark, and uh, I want to try something else. That's why I have that bike there. But but about the actual experience, it wasn't surprisingly to me not being able to coast. It was more the braking. You really can't brake nearly as fast as you can with a traditional bicycle. Um, I did have the front brake on the top, which I did use sometimes, but I got pretty good at, not good, but I got okay at braking which is with backpedaling, I think they call it, but sometimes skidding even, and, and I don't know which is better, backpedaling or skidding. I might make a video on that. Let me know if you'd be interested in, in a video that would be like backpedaling versus skidding, what stops faster. I, I'm thinking about doing that too, but anyway, uh, braking was definitely the hardest part. Not being able to coast didn't really matter too much usually. That was no big deal. So that's my 30-day commuting challenge, fixed gear commuting challenge update, and I'm going to do some work on my uh, fender that I made last week. And by the way, it's working really well. I did, I think, two days of rainy riding last week since I made it, and uh, it's worked perfectly. I've had like no rain or water up on my backside, so that's good. But there's a couple of things I want to add to it and adjust, so let's get started on that right now. Well, the first thing I wanted to do, but I didn't have time last week, was to do something about these, these bolts right here. They look pretty ugly the way they're just hanging out here. They're a bit longer than they need to be. So let's see if we can find some kind of cap for that, or at the very least, cut them off shorter. Okay, looks like I'm really lucky, because look what I found. So, this, this is what these are. These are the the nuts that go on the end of the brake pads. So I'm really glad that I kept them because it happens to be the same thread. So what I've been doing for like the last 30 minutes is just kind of cleaning up the bike a little bit, adjusting little things here and there. I adjusted the handlebars just a bit. And by the way, I will some eventually do something about these silly handy handlebars. Silly handy bars. Silly handlebars. Um, they're way too high and they're actually too far for me also. So it's a bad fit for me, but I don't have... I'm not going to do that right now. Um... What I have been doing is just kind of messing with stuff. And one idea I have, let me show you the problem first. The problem is, is this frame is a little bit too big for me, so the seat is low, so my NOG, um, my NOG bike light doesn't really fit that well. Like, this is, this is too, f yeah. I think you can see what the problem is. Because of the seat clamp, this doesn't really fit too well. It doesn't fit here, also because the seat is so low it doesn't fit. If the seat was higher, that would be okay, but it's not. Um, I've since put the light down here normally when I ride, but that's not that great either. So what I've been thinking about doing is 
uh, mounting the light somewhere on this new fender I created. I do have this uh, piece of wood here, this uh, circular piece of wood, and I could kind of like mount it like that, and then this would go like that. But I'm not really sure how that would look. I think it might look kind of stupid, so uh, let me know in the comments what you think I should do about that. Like, should I make a mount here? Another option is this. I could also put it back here, which I think is kind of a classical look, but it doesn't really make any sense to be back here, I don't think. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do about this light problem. Anyway, though, um, being that this is a video log, uh, I wanted to comment on something I've seen a lot. A lot of um, other cycling videos, or rather channels, have been doing videos on like what to get your cycling friend or partner for uh, Christmas. And I think that's a cool idea. I was going to do it myself, but as I kept thinking about it, I just wasn't really feeling it. Like I didn't feel motivated or inspired to make that type of video. And being that this is just for fun, it's not a job, um, I thought, why should I try to make a video that I don't really feel passionate about at all? So uh, I'm not gonna make a, a what you should get for your partner for Christmas, but I will say one thing, one idea that I will um, give you, that I bet you they would like, is time. We, um, I think a lot of us have families, even if you don't, you're always short on time and you always feel, feel that um, conflict, whether you should go off and go ride your bike and be away from your family or whatever. And uh, I think a lot of people would appreciate it if you told them, hey, you can have a day or five days or whatever is appropriate uh, to ride your bike and have fun. Maybe go off to an interesting place, maybe do a camp or whatever it is. Um, I think that's a really nice gift. Uh, that's just my idea, that's just my tip, that if you want to give somebody a gift, I bet most cyclists would appreciate uh, their partner telling them that they can have more time to ride their bike. That's about all the time I have this week in the shop, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.